I met with uh, Mr. Barazza and with uh, Enrico many, many years ago. Uh, you know, all the way back in when we first uh, exhibited at Salon Satellite. Uh, and then we've been talking to each other for many, many years. And then uh, suddenly, last winter, I think it was, the um, uh, possibility occurred that uh, we thought we had an excellent. Uh, idea for Magis and, uh, and they thought it was an excellent idea for Magis and now uh, 12 months later the product is finished so um, I think I think that we are I think it's pretty safe to say that we have never participated in a development that has been this quick but also this precise and also this advanced at the same time yes so it's like a very strange mixture of being advanced and quick uh, and to us that's like the, the, the core of, uh, of uh, Magis in a way <laughs> yeah it was, it was like you said it's like uh, it's like the, the right product for the right manufacturer and it's like uh, everything has been really smooth and uh, exciting for us all the way so. I think uh, what is, what is especially interesting with uh, Magis is that they're kind of uh, not tied down by usual understanding of uh, brand building. Uh, it's more about the project. Uh, how can the project be refined and, uh, and uh, the, at its best? And then the project is kind of moving the whole Magis thing. I think. Uh, Eventually, we were very inspired by trying to express the, the category in a new way. Because mm. like the, 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 um, the gas-lifted bar stool is a very uh, young category. It was uh, introduced by Magis in 1997 with the Bombo. And, uh, and uh, just looking into uh, to, um, how, the, how the movement, the possibility for movement is, uh, is expressed in the shape, so to speak two parts that are kind of balanced and that slides into each other. And then I think it was like important also to, to connect everything that is related to the body is connected in one uh, continuous uh, surface, so to speak, and the surface changes character when needed. It's hard, where it's supposed to be hard for the feet. It's uh, sensual, where you touch it with your fingers on the release button, and it's soft on top, where you uh, so where your ass needs it to be soft, basically. So it's 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 all about this. It's like it's like you said earlier. It was a good explanation, I think, about uh, how they uh, how they build themselves, uh, not inside the the very strategic uh, branding. Uh, what you call it, like uh, way of thinking. The project uh, builds uh, builds Magis. It's not Magis who's like uh, strategically decides what the project will be. So they still uh, they still have a high degree of um, experimental uh, context. I think everything works within that. And we are, we are, and that's how we felt when we were working with the two. We are sort of pushed pushed to uh, to really. Um, uh, stay within the concepts when we when we try to industrialize it, and that's been really nice for us. Yeah.